Recently, I had a conversation with a man who claimed that Christianity has made no contributions to science. Unfortunately, this person failed to understand that the scientific revolution was predominantly driven by Christians, with most of its leading scientists being individuals who held strong beliefs in God. I explained to this man that the scientific revolution represented an extraordinary sequence of events that led to the rise of modern science and provided significant advancements in mathematics, physics, astronomy, biology, and chemistry. I made it clear that these scientists did not see it as a departure from reason to honor God in their scientific research. On the contrary, they viewed God as the foundation of reasoning itself. This man remained unaware that many of the most brilliant thinkers in history were individuals who prayed and believed in God. In fact, he was unaware that the father of the scientific method was a devoted Christian named Francis Bacon. Nor did he know that Galileo Galilei was an Italian astronomer, physicist, engineer, philosopher, and mathematician who significantly contributed to the scientific revolution. Another notable figure is Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, and philosopher known for his substantial impact on the field of science. Undoubtedly, he lacked knowledge about Nicola Steno, who made significant contributions to anatomy and geology and he was oblivious to the fact that Robert Boyle was a natural philosopher, chemist, and physicist known for his substantial contributions to science. What about Newton? Few can disregard the influential figure of Isaac Newton, a mathematician, physicist, and astronomer who was essential in shaping modern science. I also pointed out Johannes Kepler, who made significant contributions to astronomy, mathematics, astrology, and natural philosophy, establishing a lasting impact on science. And what about Gottfried Leibniz, the great mathematician, philosopher, scientist, and diplomat who played a vital role in various scientific fields? Or Nicole Oresme, a distinguished French philosopher who played a key role in influencing scientific ideas? Or who could overlook Nicholas of Cusa, celebrated for his contributions to mathematics and astronomy that led to numerous scientific advancements. How about Joseph Priestley, a significant player in the progress of chemistry and recognized as its father? I also mentioned to him Alessandro Volta, who made remarkable strides in electricity and power as a prominent Italian chemist and physicist. André-Marie Ampère, the French physicist and mathematician recognized as one of the pioneers of classical electromagnetism. And don't forget the renowned and outstanding achievements in astronomy by Laurentius Gothus, who stands alongside Pierre Gassendi, whose work as an astronomer and mathematician profoundly shaped scientific understanding as we know it. I also spoke to him about the English chemist and physicist, Michael Faraday, who made significant advancements in the fields of electrochemistry and electromagnetism. I also talked to him about Charles Babbage, the famous mathematician, philosopher, inventor, and mechanical engineer who brought forth the concept of a digital programmable computer. What about James Clerk Maxwell, the Scottish physicist and mathematician who was instrumental in creating the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation, which transformed our comprehension of electricity, magnetism, and light as related facets of one overarching phenomenon? In what state would science exist without any of these individuals? Consider how different the landscape of science would be if not for Andrew Pritchard, recognized for his role as an English naturalist and dealer in natural history, who played a key part in advancing microscopy and studying small organisms. Let's not forget about the remarkable Gregor Mendel, an Austrian biologist, meteorologist, and mathematician, widely recognized as the father of genetics. 
and it's impossible to forget Max Planck, the German theoretical physicist awarded the Nobel Prize in physics for his work on energy quanta and celebrated as the father of quantum theory. Were you aware that this theory reshaped our insights into atomic and subatomic processes? I also brought to his attention that Max Born, a theoretical physicist from Germany and Britain, significantly contributed to the development of quantum mechanics. Now these are merely a handful of the countless individuals who played a role in the advancement, growth, and spread of science. And each one was dedicated to God. Each one of them professed their faith in Christ. So, next time you encounter skepticism about Christianity's influence on science, don't hesitate to share this video. I'm Paul Ross, and thanks for listening.